with golf, we don't tend to think about a secondary task, but we're just trying so hard to control the motion. So when we're driving a car, we're not thinking about how hard to hold the steering wheel, how hard to hit the accelerator, when to hit the brakes. We just do it naturally, instinctively while we're listening to the radio or singing songs or talking to someone in the car or talking on the phone. Um, but yeah, golf, if we can introduce a secondary task. I want to help you have tiger-like confidence on the greens. The key to that is learning how to get in the zone and stop using your conscious mind and learning how to use your unconscious mind to putt your best. Hey everyone, my name is Michael Leonard, the creator of Wicked Smart Golf and an extremely competitive golfer myself. I play in tons of events, usually about 50 days or more of tournament golf every year. But over the past few years, I had really been struggling with my putting and I found a system that really helped me literally transform my game, specifically my putting, and I wanna share a little bit more today. So back in 2021, I was struggling on the greens. I remember specifically a one day qualifier, you have to play well to make it, and I had three, three putts in the first eight holes. My ball striking was on, I was hitting it great, but I couldn't get the ball in the hole. I had just got custom fit for a new PXG putter. I felt like I'd been practicing my life away and I sucked. It was awful, I was pissed. And after that third three putt on the eighth hole, I remember kind of tossing my brand new putter a little closer to my bag, except I was so angry I actually threw it, hit the cart path and I was mortified. I thought I had just broken or totally fucked up my brand new PXG butter. Luckily, the golf gods had some mercy on me and there was just a small scratch on the bottom, which I actually can't even see. Still use it to this day. But it was at that day, I remember being at home and I just, I didn't know what to do after the round. I missed the qualifier by a few shots and I knew I had the ball striking. It was just putting that was holding me back. And so I was at a low point and I think the golf gods showed some mercy on me or Facebook just really knows me too well. And I got hit with a Facebook ad for something called the look and shoot putting method. Now it sounded too good to be true, but I figured, hey, I'm at literally the lowest I've ever been in terms of putting. I can't get worse. Why not give it a try? It was one of the best decisions I ever made as one year later, I track my stats every tournament. I actually dropped four shots on average putting from 33.5 to 29.5 putts per round. That made a massive difference and I've never had better finishes in these amateur events in Arizona. And I owe a lot of that success to the look and shoot putting system because it helped me get out of my head and just get free and let go on the greens to play my best golf. Now I interviewed the creator of this, Cameron Strachan, who used to work with Aaron Badley when he was successful on the PGA Tour, and here is why he thinks this system is unlike any other. Take a look at this clip in our full podcast interview. The biggest breakthrough for me, I, I will literally never forget it. I read your book, I devoured the videos, I went out, and for me, what the kicker was, was learning how to have a secondary task. So can you talk about that a little bit? Because that to me is really the kind of the game changer for this. Yeah, it's a proven uh, scientific principle, a, a learning, a scientific learning principle. So um, if I can give another analogy, when, when, when we drive a car, we almost always have the radio on. Um, well, you know, in the old days, you had radios. Now we have our, you know, our, our phones on and our, 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 you know, iTunes or whatever connected through our phone. But we, we listen to music, we listen to podcasts, we listen to talkback radio. And so we're driving along and we're, we're doing something else. So we're, we're, talk, we're listening to the radio and singing songs and carrying on. And, and for the most part, we all drive the car very well. Car crashes and car wrecks are caused typically by overconfidence, driving too fast and being crazy rather than you know being too tentative. Um, with golf, we don't tend to think about a secondary task. We're just trying so hard to control the motion. So when we're driving a car, we're not thinking about how hard to hold the steering wheel, how hard to hit the accelerator, when to hit the brakes. We just do it naturally, instinctively while we're listening to the radio or singing songs or talking to someone in the car or talking on the phone. Um, but yeah, golf, if we can introduce a secondary task and one of the best ones, I like, and I've, been, I've used it for years and years and years. Um, and for me, it was very profound when I figured this out, but I like to count numbers in my head. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And I'll just repeat those numbers from the moment I leave, from, from the moment I start walking to the ball, right until, the, right until the ball, you know, finds a hole or, you know, stops rolling. I'll be counting numbers. And I've had some very funny and strange looks from people because under pressure, 
I still do the same thing, but sometimes I even say it out loud. Nailed it. So that's exactly what I do now. When I have read my putt, I've found my line. As soon as I start walking to the golf ball, I'm counting down. I actually count down from 100. So I wipe my putter face uh, right with my, my left hand, and that's my trigger. And I start counting down slowly, 100, 99. I get over the ball at 98. I do my crouch. I look down at it. My, my ball's already lined up. And I take my look at 95. I look at the hole. My head goes back down, 94. And then I putt. And it is just like clockwork every single time. Yeah. And it has just been crazy because it's so weird. Be the analytical side of me, like you said, the accountant mind, if you will, is like, whoa, we don't have any control here. We're because the conscious mind can only do one thing at a time. So if it's counting down, that means the subconscious is in the driver's seat. And it's crazy Correct. because you putt with so much freedom. And it, it just kind of does the hard work for you. It, it's truly remarkable what it what it can do for people. It can be remarkable, and it's just no different. And if this is where the learning um, really is in golf, if you can um, go deeper and have some insight into how you throw the ball or how you drive the car versus um, how you would play golf with this counting technique or singing a song, like singing a song mm -hmm. can work equally as well. Mary had a little lamb with my other go to my go to song. Um, which is quite funny because again, you get some very strange looks from golfers if they heard you, you know, singing "Mary Had a Little Lamb," uh, you know, un, you know, quite, you know, very quietly, but they, they could still hear it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very so. Putting and playing golf this way is very similar to how do we, how we do these other tasks that we do very well day to day: riding a bike, throwing a ball, driving a car. Um, there's profound learning there, and it's my contention that we just don't get taught enough as golfers through golf coaching or golf teaching, how to go deeper like this. You know, this just the industry is hell bent on ramming down another technique. You know, keep your putter face square, shoulders here, eyes over the ball. And it's just, it's so much. And then if you look at even just the recent masters, if you look at all the guys in the top 10, they've all got uniquely different putting styles um, and they approach putting, you know, equally differently, but they um, all perform very well. So they've got different techniques, but, they all putt very, very well, and they all have learned to putt very well under pressure. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that short little clip from Cameron. Again, take a look in the description down below to listen to our full interview as there's way more. Uh, plus, you can also learn more about the look and shoot putting system by clicking the link in the description. Again, I'm never out here to promote anything on this channel that I don't fully believe in, and this thing has transformed my game, and I know it can have a massive impact on yours as well. When you learn how to just look and shoot, you are going to play your best golf and finally master your confidence on the greens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I hope you have an epic day on the links.